did a video review of the Cole Han Zero Grand shoes and the cover picture in that video showed these shoes and I had so many questions about it. The video I shot was like maybe two years old and since then I've replaced the shoes in the video that I reviewed with these shoes and a new black suede shoe. So in this video I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to talk about this specific shoe, the Zero Grand Cole Han shoes. Hey guys, got the shoes on feet. Experience wearing these shoes is like wearing lightweight running sneakers, but they look like Oxford dress shoes on the top. Uh, it even looks and feel and smells like good quality rich leather, but we know it's synthetic and it tells you that inside of the tongue that everything in the shoe is man-made. Um, the lacings are not my favorites. These are just the fabric lacing. There is no wax treatment on these laces, so they will get wet and soak water. Uh, I have my ladder lacing system there. I have a video showing how to lace your shoes like this. Very comfortable to wear. There's no break in time. It flexes. There's no creasing as well. What I like about these is they flex, but they don't keep the crease on the on the upper leather. Next, we have the New Buck suede shoes. These are not real suede. They're synthetic again. Very lightweight. Still the same feel like you're wearing lightweight running sneakers. And I wore these a lot last summer in the hottest days in New York. And I did not sweat. My feet were very breathable, very comfortable. They go with nice, like a nice summer, um, summer look. So let's get these on the table and take a closer look at these shoes, guys. I love these shoes. They are very disposable to the point where the previous shoes that I had in the last video that inspired this video, I don't have anymore because they didn't last me past 2022. I did that video March of 2022 when those shoes were brand new. I wore them throughout the year and by like Christmas, I just had to get rid of them. Good news was I was at the Salvation Army in January getting rid of my kids 2022 clothing. I don't fit them. They don't need any more. And I highly recommend also if you have a Salvation Army at Goodwill in your town, frequent it because this is what happened to me. I'm coming back out with my tax ticket and I saw these brand new shoes in a glass display, no box or anything like that, for $60. I snapped them up, I took them back home and waited till the summer to wear them. And I had a great summer wearing these shoes. They're very breathable in hot weather. It's not real suede at all, uh, but that means the suede is very maintainable. It's not gonna get dirty easily. I did wear a lot of dark blue denim jeans with these shoes, and normally the dark blue denim would rub off and that if it was suede, but it did not on this. It's still in clean condition. It's silver mist color, <coughs> but it looks beige in person. The laces are silver. It's not silver at all. I don't know why they call it silver mist, but um, it looks really good. The soles are described as an ox blood red color. I like the contrast between the red soles and the suede uppers. Uh, it's kind of like a college British professor look of the Oxford suede, the red um, soles. Kind of reminds me of that. Memorial Weekend has returned it as back at the Salvation Army, get rid of some winter clothes for my kids that they don't wear anymore, that's not gonna fit them next winter. And I saw these for $50, glass display at Salvation Army, <laughs> snapped them up right away. Um, and I've been wearing these since, I guess, my back to school office shoes. A couple of times a week to the office. I don't wanna daily wear shoes like this anymore because I know they don't last a long time. Unlike formal dress shoes, the soles on a Zero Grand are sneaker soles. They're not replaceable or serviceable like Oxford soles are. You can't like add heels to these or tips or replace the outsoles at all. The uppers on these ones is not genuine leather. It does say man-made materials inside, uh, made in Vietnam. And I don't expect them to last a long time. What these do well for disposable shoes, they offer great comfort. <clears throat> great ease of wear like they go with anything from jeans to a business suit I've even seen tons of wedding pictures and videos where the entire groom's party is wearing these shoes with tuxedos and they look great <laughs> you know no one's gonna bat an eye or look at you weird if you wear these to, the, to a formal business meeting with a, like a, a $2,000 Bro Brooks Brothers suit they look great with that they look great with like some old $20 denim ripped denim jeans and a t-shirt uh, so that's what I like about these. Very diverse in how you want to wear them. You can mix them up and create a new look just with these shoes alone. I like the insoles as well. I have my own insoles. I don't really use the, the insoles the Zero Grand's come with, but it looks really nice. It's a Zero Grand logo. On the back it says Grand OS. Um, and it's a lot of layers and materials in this insoles. Uh, put that one there. The 
this one is the same one. And I like the colors in this, right? It's probably the best looking insoles I've ever seen in shoes. And you have the Grand West there. Yeah. Yeah, Grand West there. And these are actually weird because it's upside down. It's like the Zero Grand is different. I don't know what why that is. <laughs> and these inserts look really really comfortable. Like I said, I have my own inserts that I use in my shoes. Previously, when I did my other video reviews, like this one has a lot of glue in there. It's like weird. But the inserts don't have any glue. It's the strangest thing. This one is... No, I don't really see any glue in this one, but uh, very clean and inside, actually. If you're a guy that don't wear shoes to work, but you want to keep something in your closet for the occasional wedding that pops up or... <clears throat> graduation dinner or anniversary dinner with your wife or even if you like you do a lot of cruises where you need like dress shoes for like um, formal attire night in a cruise ship these are great shoes to keep in your closet that you probably only wear like once or twice a year um, I don't recommend daily wearing these shoes unless you have a budget to buy um, a new pair every like six to eight months <laughs> uh, if you do daily wear these to work they're not gonna last throughout the year uh, especially if you you know, walk a lot in your commute. If you're driving every day to work and you just walk around your office like 500 steps, 600 steps a day, you'll be fine. But if you walk through Manhattan, if you live in an urban, where you're doing different types of um, commuting, they're not gonna last long. But uh, they look great, very comfortable. Retail of 198 or 199 is, these are not worth that much. Pretty sure the technology warrants the heavy price tag, but I think durability issues and it's, all man-made stuff. There's no genuine leather materials in these. The laces I did mention are very cheap. They're not like waxed or treated with like water resistant um like coating. So it gets they get soaked if it rains on these. These would get very wet. <coughs> Under hundred dollars if you can't find these, definitely worth the price. Um, and like I said, if you just need one pair of shoes to keep in your closet, you don't like shoes at all. These are perfect for you because they don't feel like shoes when you wear them, but they look like shoes when you wear them. And I think that's the beauty of the Zio Grand and what Cole Han has done here. I had to do this video because I got a lot of comments on like, what are these shoes? Because my other videos did not have these shoes in them. So uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Taking pictures.